Hi, this is Bryce L. Pico of Life Abundant Ministries, welcoming you to World Headquarters. On this beautiful spring day, what you see behind me is a sea of winter wheat. Now, this was planted last fall, and about seven months ago it was put in the ground, now it's beginning to come up, and within a couple of months it will be harvested. Uh, fields like this are typically rented out these days to farmers who are willing to work the land. The days of the family farms have begun to wind down, and Usually land isn't passed down from father to son anymore, but in this case it was. Uh, the man who plows this ground and, and sows it is uh, an inheritor of the land, and he's been very successful over the past few years. As we've lived here, we've seen them sow beans and corn and wheat and run through the whole rotation again, and every year they've had a bountiful harvest. Now, 2 Corinthians 9, 6 says that he that sows sparingly will reap sparingly, and he that sows much will reap much. Now, what if the guy who sowed this ground just plowed a little pot, put in a little bit of wheat seed, and then just left the rest go fallow? He'd probably get a pretty good yield off of what he sowed, but he wouldn't get much of a harvest. Look at how much he's sown this year. If you could get above our home, and look everywhere in 360 degrees around this property, you would see nothing but farm fields. All of them sown with seed in one form or another. Now, the weather's been good for the winter wheat this year. I'm trusting this is going to be a great harvest. But the reason why it's going to be a great harvest isn't necessarily because of the weather or even the other circumstances that surround farming. It's because the man sowed a lot of seed. If they would have had a bad year weather-wise, they still probably would have had a pretty good harvest. If the field got a little wet and they lost some of the wheat, they probably still would have had enough to do pretty well. But that's because he sowed well. Now what does that mean for us? When God calls us to sow, he's not calling us to sow just what we can afford or just what won't hurt a little bit. He wants us to sow what we are led. He has specific needs that he needs seed to meet. He is the Lord of the harvest, and He's expecting a bountiful harvest from what we sow. Now, the great thing about that is, no matter what we sow, when we're led, sowing into the kingdom of God is going to guarantee a great harvest, because you're always sowing into good soil if you're led. So the next time that God calls you to sow, no matter what that is, whether that's finances or whether that's material goods or your time or your love, whatever it is, sow it and sow it bountifully so you will reap bountifully because when you do that he will give you more to sow so whatever's in your hand don't be afraid to let it go because when you sow it to the kingdom you'll get it back a hundredfold thank you very much have a great day